Hey, this is John. Welcome to another video with me. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison review uh, between two meatless options. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, but one of these um, has not been available for home usage until recently. It just came out, so let me tell you what that is first. Impossible Meats. Burger made from plants. Um, I should have looked up what I paid for this before. I'm going to look it up afterwards and just place it down here. This is a 12 ounce package. Um, the instructions say um, to turn it into quarter pound patties, which gives you three. So that's 12 ounces. You, make th you can make three burgers out of that. And then on the other side, I have the Beyond Burger plant based patties. This already comes in two patties that are four ounces each. Um, so the size of these burgers are the same. Here we have the Beyond Burger here. You can see I have one that's just the burger and one with a dressed sandwich. And on the other side here I have the Impossible Meat Patty. And made it into a dressed sandwich as well. First thing I'm going to do is try the undressed patties by themselves. Um, to give you a little bit of background on how, how these were cooked, I followed the instructions given on the packages. For the Beyond Burger, it says you can do it on the grill or on a skillet. And to thaw them if frozen, which I did, and preheat to medium high to high heat. I just I did on medium high heat for this one. And cook for about four minutes per side. Do not overcook. So I cooked one side for four minutes. And when I flipped it over, um, I'm going to be showing pictures of what I'm doing during this video, hopefully. And one of the pictures you'll see for this one is that it got kind of burnt and there was a lot of smoke. So four minutes on one side, but when I flipped it over, it was only about two and a half to three minutes on the other side. And you see what it looks like. For the impossible, the instructions say five to six minutes total, flip halfway through. So I did three minutes, flipped it three minutes. Um, for the dress burgers, I did add cheese, so they kind of stayed out a little bit longer so the cheese would melt. But anyway, let's go ahead and taste these. Um, it's not a blind taste test. I know which one I'm going to be tasting, but uh, it will be my honest opinion. So let's first of all go ahead and try the Beyond. Look at the cross section of it. It does say that there could still be pink in the middle after it's cooked, but this one doesn't really look like there is any. Oh, and one thing I will add is the smell of both of these. Uncooked, the Beyond Burger kind of smells like if you open like a can of dog food. Gotta be honest about that. The Impossible Meat didn't really have a smell, kind of like how uh, fresh beef would have basically no smell if it's out of the fridge. Afterwards, when it's done cooking, um, the smell is a little bit different. This one, the Beyond Burger, doesn't have much of a smell when it's cooking. The Impossible Burger kind of gives off a chemically smell when you're cooking it. It's not terrible. But it doesn't smell like cooked meat. It smells kind of chemically. Then when you look at the finished product, the Impossible definitely looks more like cooked meat. Anyway, let's go ahead and taste by itself the Beyond Burger. The outside charred parts are definitely crunchy. It definitely doesn't have doesn't have like a regular burger texture. Kind of springy. And the flavor is mostly neutral for this. It tastes from the middle. So it's a little less burnt in the middle. But it's pretty springy. Kind of taste mostly plain. I didn't put any salt or seasoning on the actual patties when I cooked them either. It tastes fine. Not offensive. A little springy. Not really uh, a meat texture, I would say. Uh, the impossible one 
it kind of looks more like meat. It looks like more like a meat loaf, actually. Like if you took the meat and mixed in like some breadcrumbs, maybe. It does have that slightly chemically smell to it. Let's give it a bite. It's more juicy. It has more flavor to it than the Beyond. And the texture of this when you're chewing it, it crumbles like a good brown meat when it's cooked. It crumbles into pieces. Undressed, flavor-wise, the impossible is the clear winner. The only thing that I have bad to say about the impossible is the smell is just slightly off-putting. So let's move on to the dressed burger. Um, I will show you a picture of all the things that I use to dress it. It's just uh, some cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, mayo, ketchup, mustard. I use red onion, I use Roma tomato, um, Heinz ketchup, Hellman's mayo, and uh, Kensington mustard. Um, the buns are brioche buns. They're the same ingredients, same bun type for each one. The only difference in the buns, uh, they're both toasted. One was toasted in the pan that I cooked Beyond Burger. One was toasted in the pan I cooked the Impossible Burger. And they're on the same one. I didn't do anything funny about that. Let's go ahead and taste test the Beyond Burger all dressed up. The cross section of it. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it. The cheese I used is just Kraft American Singles. With everything on there, you know, like I said, the burger's not offensive. It doesn't have much flavor to it. So when you put all the toppings on, it really just holds in there, does its part, make a burger. Not bad at all. So a little on the dry side. When you dress it all up like that, I think it's fine. It works good. But is it better than the impossible? Ooh, look. My impossible still has some redness in the middle. The uh, undressed one didn't have that. Let's see if that uh, affects it at all. The impossible tastes more like meat. It feels more like meat. It's the meat is juicy, crumbly. It has more flavor to the meat itself. It is, I would say, it acts. It feels more like a a meat loaf mixture than just straight uh, unadulterated beef. But um, there are places that even specialize in meat loaf sandwiches, um, or just make burger patties where they mix it with other stuff as well. This is the closest non-meat to meat that I've ever experienced. The Beyond is not bad, but the Impossible is just amazing. By itself, with the toppings that I put on there, no doubt in my mind, the Impossible Meat Burger is way better than the Beyond. And that's saying something because Beyond is probably number two of uh, meatless burgers that I've ever had. So there you have it. The winner, clearly, is the Impossible Meat Burger. Yeah. Impossible Meat Burger. Even has some pink in the middle. Hope you enjoy this video. Please give a thumbs up. If you've ever tried one of these, let me know in the comments below. Um, until next time, guys. See you around. Bye.